two of the Dragonfire systems will be installed on Royal Navy destroyers. The first one on one of our Type 45s by 2027. That's five years earlier than previously planned. It's also cutting edge technology that in particular goes after a problem and a threat that we're seeing to our warships. That is of adversaries being able to use relatively low cost drones to deplete our ammunition stocks of, generally speaking, high-end missiles. That means that our warships uh, have to go back to port, rearm, restock, um, and it gives an advantage to our adversaries for using low-cost weaponry. Now, Dragonfire, each shot costs 10 pounds. So instead of using a missile that may cost 100,000 or even more to defeat it, the ability to have an unlimited magazine, as long as there is fuel in the destroyer, it will be able to continue to fire laser beams at aerial threats. challenges um, come down to um, how quickly we can understand the environment on the Type 45 and make sure that we are redesigning the system so that it can be integrated on the Type 45. It comes down to a, a more detailed design to make, make more efficient use of the space we've got, but also make sure that we're providing the right shield water cooling. Uh, when we fire the laser, there's high power. Um, we need to make sure that the equipment stays at a, a uniform temperature. So to fit the, the power, the chilled water system into that, that smaller footprint just takes more detailed design. 